Today I'm going to show you how to draw a quadratic graph. So let's have a look at the example here. So we need to draw the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x between the values x equals minus 3 and x equals plus 3. So the first thing we need to do then is draw up a table of values and we need to work out the y coordinates for the x values between minus 3 all the way up to plus 3. So to get the y coordinates then we need to substitute each one of these numbers into the equation which we have here. So let's start off with uh, minus 3. So if I sub in minus 3 we have minus 3 squared minus 2 times minus 3. So minus 3 squared is plus 9. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. So 9 add 6 is 15. So our first coordinate then is minus 3 comma 15. So the next one we've got to sub in then is minus 2. So we just change the x's to minus 2. So minus 2 squared is plus 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 is also plus 4. 4 add 4 is 8. So our next coordinate is minus 2, comma 8. So our next x coordinate is minus 1. So let's sub these ones in this time. So minus 1 squared is plus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. And 1 add 2 is 3. So our next coordinate is 3. So let's now do x equals 0. This time it would be 0 squared minus 2 times 0. So 0 squared is 0. Minus 2 times 0 is also 0. So our answer is 0. So let's put x equals 1 in next. So this time it would be 1 squared minus 2 times 1. So 1 squared is 1. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So let's do x equals 2 next. So we have 2 squared minus 2 times 2. So 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. So 4 take 4 is 0. And our final coordinate is x equals 3. So it would be 3 squared minus 2 times 3. So 3 squared is 9. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. And 9 take away 6 is 3. So we just need to now plot these coordinates onto the coordinate grid. So I've just sketched out the coordinate grid ready. So our first one was minus 3, 15. So that will be here. Our next one was minus 2 and 8. Our next one was minus 1 and 3. Then we had 0, 0. Then we had 1 and minus 1. And 2 and 0. And our final one was 3 and 3. So we just need to now just draw our curve. And there you have your graph. Uh, thanks for watching the video.